Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are going to be discussing the physical appearance and health of cancer. I recommend this video really if you have either a cancer rising, cancer sun, moon sign is in cancer or if you happen to have a lot of cancer energy within your chart. Though, of course, this video is predominantly for those who do have a cancer rising. I do want to make it clear here that many astrologers do take other things into consideration when it comes to physical appearance. Furthermore, I do recommend that you read the description for this video because it might clear up any potential questions that you may have. Right, so cancer. Cancer is a water sign and cancer is cardinal energy. Cancer as well, of course, is symbolized by the crab. And it rules the chest, the breasts, and the stomach. I'll be describing the physical appearance of cancer, and then I will show you one cancer rising female and one cancer rising male, and then you can see if whatever I describe fits the bill. A great way to actually spot a cancer rising, well, it can be a little bit more difficult um, in comparison to other signs. This is because these crabs okay they tend to sneak up on you quite subtly what can happen is you'll catch a little glimpse of them the next thing you know they are lingering on your mind very quietly then boom it's hello hello hi there how you doing cancer rising <laughs> they also might look quite frail and they tend to be somewhat short-sighted which I think ultimately just means that they are the people who will be there for you if you ever need help. Ultimately, I do think that counselors just have this eagerness to help um, others. And, you know, it's much like Virgo. So Virgos are known as the servants of the zodiac, but Virgo and Cancer do sextile. Cancer rising people might have a body language and a posture which can actually remind you of the crab. I know it sounds really silly, but really, whenever it does come to how they walk, they can sort of stride in this kind of guarded way. There's a lot of carefulness to it. It's as though there is this ripple of a flow moving through them. Or is it that, yes, they do very much move like crabs, like side to side, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Cancers, they are ultimately the children of the moon. And this is usually portrayed in their eyes. Their eyes can be usually quite large, almond shaped, and in a particular way, luminous. Really for them, their eyes are usually very light in colour because they give an impression of light. As well with those eyes, those eyes can just give off this sort of moony or a dreamy, pooly expression. Furthermore, they might also possess a round, moon-like face but yet with quite soft, soft features with a pleasant smile. Cancer rising natives as well are usually of average height and have a tendency to gain weight or have a stout body. The nose as well is typically short with a prominent tip, though with their hands and their feet they're usually quite small. But you might notice that with both the men and the women they can have a very broad chest and the women have larger breasts not saying that all cancer rising women have large breasts, of course not, but still I think that their breasts are pretty on point, pretty well shaped. Their crab-like nature as well might cause them to actually use their hands and their arms whenever they are communicating. So yes, Geminis tend to use their hands a lot as well, but cancers, they might do it also, but maybe not as... Obviously. <laughs> However, it is truly that round face that is their prominent feature. And even if they are quite slender and thin, they still frequently have those really rounded soft features or these apple cheeks. They are blessed with just an amazing self complexion, clear, clear complexion, good skin overall. There can be two types of cancer rising people, so one being the moon type and the other being the crab type. The moon type, really, the key word for these people, would be round. These are the ones who will have those large eyes, okay, those large rounded eyes, the round face, the rounded body, the rounded limbs. Yet, the crab type people, they are slightly more difficult to discern. They might possess some physical characteristics 
of a crab. This basically means that they may look somewhat bony in appearance. Ultimately, the crab type of Cancer Rising person is just going to be a lot smaller in appearance in comparison to the moon type of Cancer Rising. Still, you can see this word round here within the crabs as well because they might have a very large smile, which in turn can really stand out in comparison to the rest of their face. Moving on then to a Cancer Rising female. So the Cancer Rising female we're going to be talking about is Angelina Jolie. She has a Cancer Rising, a Gemini Sun and an Aries Moon. But keep in mind here that we have, so far in this series, we have done Aries, Taurus and Gemini. So if you've watched those videos so far, you can maybe go back and forth and compare. Okay, Angelina Jolie, let's just start off by saying she is just drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> right, large eyes, beautiful pool like eyes, gorgeous skin, gorgeous complexion, rounded face. I know it does look quite angled in, but there is this type of roundedness to it. It's just me, because that's what I'm seeing here. Um, those cheekbones as well, you see, it's like she is the crab type, so, but mixed at the same time with the moon type, if that makes sense, so she has the roundedness, but yet the cheekbones are so high and prominent, and the mouth, oh my goodness, her mouth is so big! If I'm not mistaken as well, I'm pretty sure that Angelina Jolie had breast cancer um, a couple of years ago, and she did get one of them removed. Now, before she did get it removed, her breasts were very large. Um, but yeah, as I said, cancer rules the breasts. And unfortunately for Angelina Jolie, she got breast cancer. Now we're going to move on to the cancer rising male. And so for this one, we're going to be looking at Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, he has cancer rising. Then he also has an Aquarius sun and a Sagittarius moon. Michael Jordan, whoop whoop. I used to have the biggest crush on him when I was a kid. Yes, I did. Right. Again, roundedness. Even those muscles are very round. His whole body is, it's its like the, the mix between the crab and the moon here coming to life. Big features. Big mouth. He's got quite a big nose. He's got quite, let me see here. His eyes, ooh, his eyes are quite interesting. They're very beautiful, aren't they? And as well, Michael Jordan, he is quite stocky looking, but at the same time, quite tall, because he is a basketball player, right? So you can see that lanky nature within his arms and his legs. And is it just me, or does he exude this feminine aura about him, even though he is a male? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Let's now move on to cancer health. For cancers, their health is usually very good, but lack of physical exercise may prove to be very harmful for these people. Whenever cancer people do feel threatened, they tend to armor themselves by completely withdrawing into this complete solitude. When they do this, when they go into that solitude, it's usually when they're very upset. And whenever a cancerian is upset, they might turn to food and overconsume and indulge in food, which of course in turn can lead to weight gain and it can even lead to possible food allergies. In addition, cancer, your extreme sensitivity and your mood swings, um, they may play tricks on you in the long run and can actually cause stomach pains. Be careful not to let insignificant problems dampen your mood or your faith within yourself or within other people. It's important that Cancerians remain strong. Cancer, I know you are very strong. Just try not to let things bring you down and get you into that zone. Naturally, of course, because Cancer does rule the chest and rules the stomach, um, they might be prone to coughs, um, to indigestion, to gas, gallstones, just general problems with the stomach. If you do happen to have cancer ruling your sixth house cusp, you could be greatly prone to, well, breast problems. Even the men, they may suffer from what is called gynecomastia. Plus, like I said, potential stomach problems here as well. 
I would also like to add that if you do have a Cancer Rising, you're going to have Sagittarius on your sixth house cusp. Now, I personally use the whole sign system um, within my readings. If you don't use that system, it's completely fine. So if you do have Sagittarius on your sixth house cusp, you could be more prone to hip and thigh problems. And furthermore, if you do have Moon, within the sixth house. Possible health problems here might actually be connected to illnesses that are inherited or which really run in the family. These potential health problems should be noted so that preventive measures are taken. Really having moon in the sixth house, these people should learn to take the time to just notice um, what their bodies are registering whenever they do walk into a room or whenever they meet somebody new. That way they will be able to realise just how much they can actually be in tuned with their very body. So Cancer, okay? It is clear that one's physical health is a mirror of one's emotions. You need to take note of this probably more than other signs because of the fact that your feelings may tend to dominate your life strongly so. And so with this, okay, so with this, positive thought and feelings will equal a very positive chemical and wholesome physical state of being for you. Just like negative thoughts and feelings or emotions will then equal into negative ramification for your physical well-being. What I recommend that you do is just to try to spend some time each day working on clarifying your feelings and removing those potential thoughts that might try to drag you down. Oh, and also chamomile tea is great for calming those intense mood swings that you might experience. Okay guys, so that concludes my video on the physical appearance and health of cancer. Thank you kindly to my current subscribers for of course subscribing to my channel. It's good to have you learning along with us. And furthermore, if you have not yet subscribed and you would like to see more videos from me, then click the subscribe button somewhere. And I will be back with Leo very, very soon. Bye!